Those guys are amazing. The entire police department was amazing. Stranded overnight, but thankful that help swooped in from the sky. How the Dallas Police Department comes to the rescue of a kayaker and his friend down below. They didn't even know. Honestly, they were in trouble until it was too late. One of them nearly drowned, but then the Dallas Police Department helicopter showed up. Only on CBS 11 tonight, Andrea Lucia live along the Trinity River with a dramatic rescue story. Andrea? Yeah, this is where Roger Couture and his friend got into the river around midday yesterday. They were planning on traveling a little over 10 miles downstream in their kayak. They ended up going even farther and wound up on a dangerous stretch of water. Kayaking on the Trinity River. Fear, adrenaline, excitement. Turned out far from what Roger Couture expected. It's a beast. It's like a murderous beast. After missing their planned exit, he and a friend found themselves at dusk, plunging over the lock and dam north of I-20. In this picture, you can see Couture's kayak along the embankment beneath it. it. Seemed like a four to seven foot immediate drop, like a waterfall. His partner made it to the riverbank, but when Couture tried to cross, I was like, "This, this high in the mud. There's alligators. There's uh, there's moccasins, um, and it felt like quicksand. So it scared me." He wound up at 10 o'clock at night, stuck on a sandbar, dialing 911. Oh, there's Air One. It was Dallas's Air One, piloted by Senior Corporal Mark Colburn, who found him. Here's the thing: we don't generally do rescues. But when Dallas Fire Rescue boats were unable to reach Couture because of low water levels upstream, Corporal Colburn gave it a try. The only thing I was worried about was setting it down on the sandbar, whether the skids would sink into the mud or not. It was in the middle of the night. There's the big flashlights on me. There's sand blowing everywhere. I'm thinking to myself, are they, are they actually landing? The spot that they landed couldn't have been any more about this wide. And it was sand. And it wasn't level. Now safe and dry, Couture is grateful and impressed by the dramatic rescue he never thought he'd need. Those guys are amazing in both skill, competence, and heart. Corporal Colburn says a kayaker actually lost his life on that same part of the river about 10 years ago. Couture spent two to three hours there yesterday. His kayak is still there, and he's not sure he'll ever be able to retrieve it. Reporting live in Dallas, Andrea Lucia, CBS 11 News.